tells me a lot about a fighter, like what they post and stuff. So obviously you train a lot, you're in the gym, you like the beach, you like the water, you love your girlfriend, but then you have this pet and it's like an alligator or a crocodile or something. No, what is it? Is it an alligator? Okay, and so that's normal, I guess, in Mexico to have a pet alligator? Um, to some it's normal. Uh, to me it's normal. <laughs> well, I've had it since I was Uh-huh. It's not, it's not as bad as it seems in the pictures and on videos, but it, if you were to see on live, you can tell it's not that, that bad. What made you get an out here? Did you watch the crocodile oh, hunter yeah. growing up? I used to watch a lot of them. I just love animals. Is that why you named him Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you, some fighters, they don't even watch boxing, they box, but they don't like watching it. Do you enjoy? All right. So if there's one person in boxing today that you have to see them fight, because you, you genuinely like them, you think they're entertaining, you like their style, who's that person today that you have to tune in to watch every time you fight? Oh, there's a couple. Like you, you brought up Verdejo and actually I was going to ask you about that because you guys are friends, you guys are real cool. And in boxing today we see that a lot of the fighters are like, oh no, I'm not going to fight him because we're friends, we're brothers, we're cool. So let's say like in 2017 or 2018 they're like, okay, there's going to be a fight between Valdez and Verdejo. Is the friendship going to stop that fight from happening? Oh, I'm pretty sure. At least on my side of the world. Just the way he's going to try to do that with me. So, you know, we're friends no more. All right, so I'm going to shoot some names off the top of my head that are in your division, just fighters in general, and then in like one, two, or three words, I need you to give me like a quick description of what you think about them. It could be anything. It could be like, they're hungry, they're good, they're overrated, they're not. They're, it could be anything, first thing that comes to your mind, okay? Nicholas Walters. What? Leo Santa Cruz. <laughs> Lee Shelby. Oh my God. Um, okay, Phil Lomachenko. Rematch. What's that? And what happened? Rematch. Nonito Donaire. Jesse Magdalena. Gary Russell Jr. Yo if uh, if you could enter a boxing time machine and what fighter would you have loved to maybe have fought? If you could enter a time machine and go back in time, what era would you have loved to have been in and who would you have liked to have fought? All right, so the past couple weeks we've seen a lot of fighters miss some weight. Apparently they didn't skip Thanksgiving. You made weight. Did you skip Thanksgiving dinner? Um, I didn't skip Thanksgiving at all. I just stayed in the gym. You, you comfortable at 126 or, or it's not a struggle? You don't kill yourself? You could be there for a while? What's your favorite music to listen to when you're getting ready? What gets you hyped? What's on your playlist? Congratulations.